Mackey Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Mackey Motors post game show continuing here on Kit 1067. Jeff Lang is joining you tonight. I'm Matt Madden with the South Central Calhoun Titans. The Titans pick up a comfortable 16 to 34 victory here tonight. Ryan, a great start for you and the girls tonight. You guys got off to a 7 0 and start here in the game. Uh, you handled them pretty easy back in the early part of December, but both teams different teams now. What was the mindset coming into the night? able to find shooters talk about what you know how you felt down inside what were you seeing and how they were trying to defend you in that two three um they were kind of pinching the post a little bit so i would like to stay back say so would post go high post and we just switch out and once we get the ball high post they pretty much suck in for the corner so we have shooters in the corners or backside cutters so we just kept our eyes up defensively looked like you guys went man to man some win ran some of that one three one how did you feel like both worked tonight um i feel like our one three one was fine when we were communicating. I mean, we let a couple of layups. We let the ball get into high post a couple of times. So I just feel like we need to communicate more. And I thought our man defense was pretty good. I mean, we got some touch and fouls, but we were hustling and everything. They made that run on you there in the second quarter, cut it to seven, and it looked like you and Kylie Schleichman kind of said, okay, enough, let's let's put this one away. You guys scored a couple of quick buckets. You got one right before the end of the first half. But take us through how you saw that play right before the end of the first half develop with Kylie found the inside. Um, well, we actually had a play that we were running, but it didn't really work out. So, I mean, we did it a little bit for a long time. We kind of got that guard connection. So I just slipped and she saw it. So, yeah. You're off now until the playoffs. How do you get the body to kind of stay in shape and get them the rest you need and stay really focused on that game coming up? pressure or, or was it the way you executed offense especially early? Well starting off early I think for the most part I tell my girls after the game you know, the first quarter rolls around consistently throughout the season we execute our game plan very well. Um, you know it's both on the offense and defense around the floor. Uh, we get to that second quarter we somehow some way we kind of go into a slumber and then we go into halftime we try to make a couple adjustments and then uh, statistically the third quarter is where we're not very good so uh, going here in the postseason play that's one of the things people have to focus on is when we come out of the locker room uh, and teams, good teams make adjustments and we've got to be able to anticipate those things and then continue to pick up where we left off and understand. Had to be happy then with the way this team played in the third tonight you came out and kind of blew this one open in the third quarter. Well the first two minutes is, is kind of what's critical I think we had three turnovers right off the bat that first two minutes and so those are the kind of things that we need to really clean up. Um, you know, once they settle down and kind of identify what that is. Call the team out when you're beat that touch of 22 to 15. You went out a 6 0 run there to end that first half. What'd you say to the girls and what'd you try to adjust to there?
up next week against Emmitsburg. Jeff, appreciate you having coming up and broadcasting the game. You bet. Head coach Kurt Matt again with the South Central Calhoun girls. They win here tonight 60-34 over East Ag Cal.